Hello YouTube, James Monty here, and today we bring you not only a new intro, but we have a new game. It's called the Forza 4, and what you're looking at here, this little beauty here, the one and only reason I bought Forza 4. I was very big into Forza 3, that's uh, back before I started putting Bad Company 2 videos out. Loved it. Super excited when they announced that they were actually going to bring the Omni over to Forza 3 and then they trolled us at the last minute and pulled it and a couple other cars that they promised they were going to bring on a fan vote out and dropped them from the list and that's kind of pretty much when I stopped playing Forza 3. But one of my buddies on my friends list mentioned that he was excited to download his Omni for his Forza. I'm like, what? So I ran out that morning and bought it and, of course, downloaded my my baby. And you might think, what? It's a four-door ugly little hatchback from the 80s. Yeah, but I, I happen to own one. Not a Shelby one, but I got an 85 Omni Turbo. So it's the closest thing I've ever... <laughs> I'll ever get to driving a car I own in one of these racing games. So, Forza 4. Freaking awesome. You can already tell by the graphics, the lighting and everything is just beautiful. Had a buddy of mine, Bulldog, jump on with me tonight and he rented it and I'm gonna help me get some gameplay and here's one hell of a nice save by Bulldog. Uh, the racing on it is really, really I mean, it's 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 not one of these arcade simulators like the Need for Speed or a game like that. It is a real racing game, hence why I'm not really that good. But, like a lot of other games that I'm not good at, <clears throat> I enjoy playing it. I am racing the Ferrari 599 GTO, and not doing very good because I got a lot of the assist off and struggling, struggling big time. Uh... I will say this is one of the few games that I've recorded that the Roxio game cap just does not do justice to the graphics. I mean, the graphics in this game are just amazing. I mean, Forza 3 was good. This is a little bit of a step up. Um, Graphic-wise, in, in the racing part of it, and you know, as far as the mechanics of the racing, is, is a lot the same I feel getting out of the same feel as Forza 3 uh, where they really stepped it up was with the uh, car modeling in the view mode and a, a few few other things as far as adding uh, car clubs you can belong to and being able to share cars in between your club members uh, some of the rival events and races and achievements and stuff uh, the car leveling system is different. Instead of being like a car specific, they change it over to like a manufacturer specific. And once you do race, reach a certain level with the manufacturer, you do get free parts and cash bonuses for each level after that. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, being sponsored. So it's really cool. Uh, this is, of course, this is just a circuit race we're running. I believe he's racing the Co6 Sig. But uh, now we're going to head out to one of my favorite things, the Sedona Drag Strip, and I'm racing my stock, 100% stock Omni <laughs> I guess I think Bulldog's got a CSX here because we just want to do the Dodge versus Honda um, with this I do turn off everything, switch it over to manual with the clutch, we actually got to hit a button for the clutch and shift and it takes a little bit of getting used to, but you, you, you do um uh, it does enable you to pull off a little bit faster times. And there I just waxed his ass. And then uh, here he comes back with a uh, newer Acura RSX. Uh, we'll, we'll just take a second here see how well he fares against the beast here. Plus that gives me time to get a drink. <laughs> Again, 100% stock on me. Okay. Well, maybe it's not 100% stock, but we didn't tell Bulldog that. <laughs> Love you, Bulldog. Best friends forever. 
All right, so I got an all-wheel drive swap on my Omni, and maybe that's why I was just killing him off the line and running about eight-tenths faster than this car normally would. But hey, you know, who's counting? When, when you're a bunch of friends and you're having fun and you're racing, talk about having fun. This is one of our last races of the night. It was the most fun. I thought I'd throw it in here. Oh, yeah. Hummers on the Top Gear test track. And that's right, that's another big change. I almost totally forgot about that. Is uh, no longer does Gran Turismo 5 have the uh, exclusive and. Uh, whoa, dude, it's, it's my link. Ah, fucking bulldog. No longer does the uh, does it have the exclusive on the Top Gear track. We have it now in Forza, and here's a part where I sped up quite a bit. Just because I know you don't want to watch a bunch of uh, Hummers running around the track. Um, as exciting as these 8,000 pound beasts are to watch racing. Um, you know, I just got a feeling you really aren't going to want to watch them until we, until we get to some exciting parts here. So we'll just let this play through. And what you doing, son? Up there screwing around in your Hummer. And whoop! Lost it. See ya as I speed by at a whopping 80 miles per hour or so. <laughs> oh, what fun. This is one of the fun things about fours is you can set up goofy races and play with your buddies. <laughs> Trade a little paint, you know, nothing big. You know, just, just a little back and forth, uh, you know, just... You know, a little, little, little friendly tap, a little tippy tap, tap. You know, just, just, just Rubbin's racing. You know. <laughs> well, unfortunately, that's not going to be my uh, <laughs> last time that happens. And old spoiler, I get the worst end of it there at the end. <clears throat> but in uh, you know, final for this game, four is a four is a definite buy if you're a car racing fan or if you're just a moderate car racing game fan. Great game, a lot of fun things to do with your friends, a lot of online racing. Um, it's great. It's definitely something worth picking up. Go out and get it. Um, add me if you want to play. My guys in my car club, um, with my Mopar club, Turbo Mo Turbo Dash Mopar .com. We play every Friday night, and uh, it's great. And as always, folks, thanks for watching. I've got some Battlefield 3 stuff coming up later this week that I've got rendered out. I just got to add my beautiful voice to. <laughs> well, and again, folks, as always, thanks for watching as we watch the Hummers here at the end drive off into the English sunset. <laughs> thanks, folks.